Hello, what is up YouTube? It's me again today, Tropic Hippo, aka Hippopotamus, with another build today that's going to make your life in legendary missions much, much easier. Okay, so as always, let's go over and check on that and see how we're getting on that. particular build, we're using the firewall, taking this shotgun damage and the synergizing SMG damage. Uh, we also have um, a pistol on here, so it may be worth you, if you want to, put an extra damage on the pistol. However, I don't really find that helps too much, as I've got other builds that require more damage in other places. The firewall uh, special weapon is actually very good. It's probably one of the best, I think, for damage. Um, you also get 20% extra burn duration, a little bit of health on kill, a really good med kit that gives you 200% of your armor, uh, stronger shield, and also the health increase mod that we quite frequently use. 10% um, damage to enemies that are within 10 meters of you, that's just quite nice. Uh, you can apply burn to PvP, uh, PvE sorry, targets, and it's disabled in PvP just recently, beg your pardon. And 30% more bonus armor during a cover to cover move. So, bearing all of that in mind, what does that mean? What's the, let's take a look at the range and see what we've got down there and go through everything. So, as always, looking at the range, we can see that we're on Heroic, so we can benchmark things properly and see what numbers hit for. And taking a look at the build, it is a four piece of foundry, uh, and one piece of the Tardigrade system, and one piece of RNK. So, I'm going to take a look at the weapons first. Uh, the first weapon I'm using is the Rock and Roll Shotgun. This has got a little bit of health damage on it, damage to armor, and shotgun damage. Uh, as you can see, it's not perfect. The reason why I'm using this um, is literally just because it can tip out bullets and put down a little bit of suppression fire when the shield's not up. It's probably the highest um, sustained damage shotgun out of all the shotguns that you can get so this is very good for pve and considering that this is going to be used on legendary missions if you hop behind cover and just spray it from over the top that'll be great moving on to the next weapon we're using the emmeline's guard with 15 percent uh, smg damage crit chance and a little bit of rate of fire uh, could i have crit damage on the bottom there i would have gone for that however it's not a problem the attachments are crit chance and crit chance on the muzzle and for the pistol, we are using, obviously, the Liberty, uh, and that is because of the talent, which basically gives us 2% weapon damage up to 30 stacks for hitting in the chest. And then if you shoot the enemy in the head, it consumes all the stacks and repairs your shield for 3% per stack. So that's really, really nice. Moving on to the gear pieces, uh, we have a Foundry Mask, which is rolled into Total Armor, Armor Regen, and Incoming Repairs. Uh, going over the gear set quickly while we're here, two pieces give us 10% extra armor, three pieces give us 1% armor regeneration and 50% shield health, and four pieces give us the makeshift repair, so whenever you or your shield take damage, 20% of that amount is repaired to both over 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, there is one piece that's locked behind a set here, and I've actually used a... Um, appearance slot because this bag is ugly um, but what it does is it's rolled into armor it's got armor regen and incoming repairs and it also has process refinery increase makeshift repair speed from 15 seconds to 10 seconds so that 20 percent that we're going to repair is actually going to happen over 10 seconds rather than 15. we have foundry bulwark gloves with armor and armor regeneration knee pads our foundry bulwark again with armor and armor regeneration for the chest piece we're using a special chest piece we're using the tardigrade armor system so what this is going to do is when any of your teammates or yourself break your armor it's going to effectively be like unbreakable but for you and your team uh, it's effectively going to give 80 percent of your armor as bonus armor for 10 seconds and killing enemies with a special weapon removes this cooldown for all allies so the actual fire flamethrower special weapon if you get a kill with it is going to cool things down quickly which is great uh, and 80 percent of 2 million it's going to give quite a lot of over armor when armor breaks for the holster we are using the forge for a very particular reason armor and armor regeneration but most importantly the 50 percent shield health stacked on top of the bulwark that makes for a uh, extra 100 percent shield health and we have 20 percent incoming repairs for the skills, we have a fixer drone, which is running duration, health, and armor repair. 
and we are running a tier 6 shield uh, with 16 million health uh, and armor regeneration actively on it so it's active regeneration is quite high at 175,000 um, this is currently running two shield health mods and one of which I am happy to change because that is good we've got damage in here so the one that we want to change is the one that gives us 8% giving us another 82,000 so just be aware if you've got that unlocked pop it on if not just use two 5% mods so let's go over and just quickly save that because there's a slight improvement there we can make um, bear with me a second these are some of the builds that are coming up so there's a little sneak peek for you okay so let's go to the range and show what this build does unfortunately it's not so exciting it's just more for taking damage so we can't really effectively show show what that's going to do for you okay and you can see that the damage is repaired over time we have armor regeneration as well on top of that so do is while we're stood behind the we can click out our little healer drone and because we have incoming repairs this little drone is actually going to be a little bit more effective than just say on its own hitting for headshots we're hitting for about 800,000 on a crit which is still going to do okay damage but as you can see it's going to take a few shots um, you're not going to do massive damage um, should your shield be down and you stuck behind cover you have options especially if they get close so one of those options is to just simply blind fire over the top of cover and that's the reason why we're using the shotgun because as you can see it just puts out a lot of pressure on an enemy and hopefully forces them back away from you giving you time to recover your shield should it have gone down okay so the second weapon we're using is the Emmeline's Guard, which we talked about earlier. Uh, the main reason for this is the perfect healing hands. And should you get a kill on an enemy, you can simply go for a weaker enemy or an enemy that you've nearly finished off. So let's just go for a slightly weaker enemy. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, one red. So yeah, I need a little bit of health back. This is a health. Okay, so now we have on the side of the gun the two hands, which shows that we have healing hands, which is filling us up nice and quickly. Um, the main things to note really with this is just to be careful not to get too far in to the enemies but on legendary mode you can stand and withstand quite a lot of damage with this gear set. I would say use incoming repairs instead of protection from elites in the in slot mod simply because it's going to amp the amount of healing that you get um, and this is going to be a really really great team support build to help your team. Now bearing in mind when you are on legendary you can go in and take quite a lot of damage and giving your damage players a window to shoot and I'd highly advise you getting up front blocking as much damage as you can and letting teammates sort of shoot over your shoulder maybe a squishy glass cannon or somebody that can't really take a lot of damage paired up together you two will do good damage and be able to block targets from getting in and wiping the whole team. Okay, so just to finish this video, I'd like to just quickly show you, you can see some of the stats, and I'll go through it. Very low crit chance, very low crit damage, and some headshot damage, with a little bit of armor damage and a bit of health, importantly. Again, on the SMG, very low, 41 and 45. And on the pistol, quite a lot of headshot damage, 125. Very important, because when you're at point blank, aim for the head. Moving into the blue stats here, we can see that we're just under 2 million armor. We have 47,000, and considering that the highest you can possibly get is around 85 to 90. So the way that we're going to get more value out of this build is by taking damage with the shield, which is going to repair us, and also having the little drone, and possibly even proccing the talent on the SMG. Incoming repairs, very importantly, at 75%. So any heals that were hit from teammates or that are from our own heals are going to do 75% better.
Our shield is currently sat at 16 million, 261,408 health. And our healer um, drone is going to give us some healing there. It's got a little bit of skill haste. Uh, it's not really anything too fantastic, but the amount that it'll heal you is another 21,000 on top of your 48,000 armor regeneration. So bumping us nearer up to 60, 70,000. Okay, never boring, basically taking damage. Um, but your teammates will love you and this will help you get through legendary content like nothing else So hopefully this is very useful to you if you're struggling on legendaries. I hope to see you in the next one I've got some more weird wacky and wonderful builds for you to look at and I hope to see you again soon Please subscribe and consider leaving a comment. Thanks again. See you in the next one